I've been coding AI for the last 10 years, and one of the biggest questions I get asked is, are humans going to just do nothing once AI is fully integrated? Liz Moody asked me this on her podcast, and this was my answer. And also there's a little clarifier at the end. How do we overcome, though, again, this human desire to conserve energy? Like I picture the end of WALL-E, where we're all like blobs, basically end up on a spaceship and they're blobs and they move around in motorized chairs and drink soda and like entertain themselves 100% of the time because they don't need to do anything else. So if we don't need it, yeah, we don't actually do it. How do we overcome that? Paul Conti, he talks about this thing called the generative drive, where we as humans have this drive in us for certain things. And it's kind of mystical, but it's in us. And so allowing that to cultivate. And one thing about AI is that you will actually be able to follow it because so many of our needs will be satisfied with AI. We won't have to worry about pure survival. We can actually follow that. I think so many people are stuck in jobs that they don't like. They're just trying to make ends meet. It's a hard. Life is really hard. And with AI being able to help us take a lot of these tasks out of our hands, we can follow that generative drive. And so I'm so excited about a future where people are doing what they were born to do. And to be clear, I don't think humans will have no jobs. I don't think that's going to happen. I think there will always be jobs for people to do. But I think people will be more likely to be able to follow their passions in this new world.